fourth player in the personal injury game is the personal injury lawyer like me. Personal injury lawyers are the only group that is dedicated exclusively to protecting your interests when dealing with the other three entities already discussed, the auto insurance companies, medical providers, and health insurers. So how does a lawyer do this? With respect to the auto insurance company, the lawyer collects all the evidence to make sure that you can properly prove who is at fault and so you can prove your injuries are from the accident. They make sure you don't give statements to the auto insurance adjuster that will be used against you later in court in what's called a deposition. They help ensure that the auto insurance company makes you a fair offer. That they consider your lost wages, future medical bills, any kind of pain and suffering that you or your family members have gone through, any kind of permanency in your injuries, any kind of suffering you've gone through from your testing, from any treatment you've received, and more. So when it comes to the auto insurance companies and their well-trained adjusters, the lawyer gets you money. Now, the auto insurance companies sometimes say, don't get a lawyer because the lawyer takes all your money. Besides the fact that any adjuster who says this is giving legal advice and breaking the law, insurance companies know this is not true on average. If the insurance company offers you this much, and your lawyer gets you this much, and takes his percentage, in most cases, you're left still with more money than if you did it yourself. The issue isn't what the lawyer gets. The issue is what goes into your pocket at the end of the case. Adjusters know that they pay more on average when a lawyer is involved. Actually, one insurance company's training manual actually instructs its adjusters to try to keep injured people from getting a lawyer by being nice to them so they can save money for the insurance company. It's important to be smart about this. If the lawyer or law firm has a reputation of litigating lowball or unreasonable offers from the auto insurance company, the insurance company knows it will cost them more to defend the case in court, and if they don't settle, they can get stuck with a large possible verdict from an unpredictable jury. So it's important to talk to your lawyer about how often he goes to court to fight for his clients, and what are some recent jury verdicts or settlements for your type of claim. Now, of course, there is no bright line rule in this area, but you can get a gut feeling about your lawyer. Is he going to fight for you or just take the offer the insurance company gives? In my opinion, if he or she always takes the offer of the insurance company, how does that benefit you? With respect to medical providers, the role of the lawyer is to help you make sure that you can receive proper diagnosis, treatment, and documentation of all of your injuries. Did you know that many family doctors won't even see their patients for motor vehicle accidents, presumably because they don't want to be involved in litigation? The lawyer checks to see that the doctor you see is competent to treat your type of injury. You wouldn't see a massage therapist for a broken bone, would you? The lawyer gathers the reports he needs to properly present your claim to the auto insurance company. A report written by a doctor stating whether your injuries or surgery is from the accident can affect the value of your claim. Remember, you have the burden of proving your injuries exist and that all of your injuries are a result of the accident. The lawyer also helps keep your bills out of collections while you finish treatment and wait to settle your claim. Also, lawyers can sometimes negotiate reductions in medical bills, which can increase the amount of money you receive. With respect to health insurers, we help make sure that they pay when appropriate so your bills don't go into collections. If you don't have health insurance, sometimes a lawyer can give a letter of protection promising payment if and when the case settles. This can also keep your bills out of collections. Also, a lawyer can help you get permission from your health insurance to settle when it's appropriate so you don't lose your health insurance or your rights to future medical benefits. That's a big one. That's something that almost none of my clients have ever considered. Hey, I can lose my health insurance if I don't settle this claim correctly. It changes the whole dynamic of, do I need a lawyer, from how much is he going to take from my settlement to, wow, he protected my rights. And in certain situations, like when there's not even enough auto insurance, I may be able to reduce or eliminate repayment to health insurers altogether. In general, the less you repay, the more you get. At every turn, the personal injury lawyer's job is to help you prove your claim to maximize your recovery and reduce the amount that you have to legally repay to medical providers or health insurers. It's not always just how much you get, it's how much you keep that matters.